Steve, is that what you call a, a hard earned away victory here today at Fleetwood? Yeah, yeah, very much. Terrible conditions. The wind is obviously, you know, it plays havoc with it, doesn't it? But, you know, I mean, the only thing I was a di slightly disappointed about was we, we could have put the game to bed by half time. We've had some great chances. And, it, and it's funny because this happened here last year when we were kicking downhill. Wind, wind behind us, we should have finished those chances off because we could have easily been three goals to the good, four goals to the good maybe by half time and then we've had a couple of good chances um, in the second half to put it to bed then at those stages. Second half was different, um, strong wind, we knew when we were coming here today it said on the weather forecast strong winds and you know it's quite open, you're right by the sea and we knew it was going to be a difficult game. Quality goal to win it yeah. from Tom Bayless. Yeah, great goal. Great goal. And and the one where Shippers has hit the angle in the second half, what a goal that would have been as well. You know, honestly. I mean, I don't mind if we score a couple of scrappy goals, but, um, you know, if that second one would have gone in as well, we would have scored two great goals today. But thankfully, we'll take the one and the clean sheet. Yeah, when you come to Fleet, would you always got to expect spells like that? Second yeah. half, when you're having to defend and defend yeah. well? Yeah, it was a strong win. It's funny because they actually went more direct in the second half and played more football in the first. Um, but then you've got to be careful where a second ball drops and it just drops to one of their boys in the box. You know, they've got a few good technicians and you don't want that chance ending up in the back of your net. But I thought I thought today, you know, to a man, everybody that was uh, on, on the field for us, the subs included, I thought they had a, a big impact as well today. So, yeah, a big a big well done to all of them. They were, they were tremendous today. Yeah. Yeah, you made a change at half time. Christian Sadie went yeah. off. What's the story there, Steve? He, he he got stamped on, and he just he couldn't he couldn't because it was on the front of his foot. He couldn't he couldn't start sprinting if you know what I mean. Because so every time he bent it, you know it was stopping him running. So and I, I think that happened, and he, he ended up playing on till half time. But I knew then that was going to be the problem time, and it was going to stiffen up. But I thought Rob Street when he came on, I thought he was tremendous when he came on, like Ryan Bowman was when he came on as well. So, you know, we it was it was um, it was really good stuff from from all of the boys today. It was an odd action second half, wasn't it? Fleetwood pushing for an equaliser, but as you yeah. say, you did have chances, yeah. some good moments at the other end as well yeah. at times. Yeah, we did. I mean, obviously they're going to push for an equaliser. You know, they're at home. You know, there's a, you know, we can we can all hear and feel the wind as it is at the moment so you know if we walk out there another 10 yards it'll be even worse we're getting the stand protecting us at this moment in time so yeah we know what um, it was going to be um, a tough second half but I thought we were we were excellent in it and um, they didn't create anywhere near the clear cut chances in the second half that we created in the first half that could have put the game to bed. And a flurry of cards from the referee in, in the yeah. closing stages in particular including a red card for for the Shrewsbury Town physio, Dan Green, what, what happened uh, there, He's Steve? a bad boy, isn't he? Eh? We'll have to have a chat with him in the week, Dan, you know. I mean, that's probably the nicest guy you'll ever come across. And for him to get a red card, what's happening? We've had two or three injuries, two or three clashes, and really what should happen is they should be allowed to go on the, to the field. And because he's wanting to enter the field to play, I think the fourth official was up against it today because I thought the referee, I thought he was quite inexperienced. Um, and I thought it was a tough game to referee. Having said that, you know, he did stick to his guns on a few things that, you know, you can, you can buckle and give to the home team. So, thankfully, he didn't do that. But, it, yeah, it was, it was Dan who got the red card. But, uh, you know, I mean, to be fair, one of their guys said, look, you know, we'll just put him behind the dog out if he ever needs to go on. So, you know, that, that was fair enough. And in terms of injuries, obviously you welcomed Marco Morosi back today. No yeah. Matt Pennington or, or Julian De Costa either no. in the squad. What's the latest there? Um, the latest is probably not much different, Stu, really, from when I spoke spoke to you on Thursday regarding Matthew. You know, it, I'm, I'm not sure that he'll play on Tuesday night. What we don't need is we just, we just don't, at the moment in time, we are really on thin ice and we need those couple back and to be back and ready and back fit. So I don't I genuinely don't know how long that'll take. Um, and we'll we'll shuffle the game the team around for Tuesday. It'll be a young team again um, with a sprinkling of the boys who um, the substitutes and the boys who haven't had ninety minutes for a while. Is it a chance for someone like Aidan O'Brien maybe to come yeah. in and, and start a game yeah, for the Yeah I didn't time? think this was an ideal game to be chucking Aidan on in, in a game like today, you know. Uh, 
I, I really didn't think that was ideal. And the table, Steve, you're up to eighth, 21 points. Someone just told me join six. Join six as well, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Barnsley have got 21, Bolton 21, and Shrewsbury 21, I understand. Ah, well, that's, uh, that's good. No more than that for the time being from you. No, no, that's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Good. Uh, talking of good, what about the, uh, the away support? Today. Yeah, brilliant. Big, big, yeah. big numbers. Yeah, I mean, really, really, really good. I mean, I, you know, it's it's getting expensive to watch football, isn't it? We all know, you know, with ticket prices and fuel going up. So, you know, we're we're very thankful and very appreciative for the following that we've got today, and hopefully they all have a, a safe drive home and um, and a good Saturday and Sunday. Well done today. Thanks for your time, Steve. Pleasure. Thank you.